Xbox One version of Space Engineers. Very quick video this morning on two things. How to build using the spectator camera and how to put assemblers into co-op mode. So let's get started. Press in your right stick. Use your left and right triggers to get to spectator camera and confirm it with the right bumper. Press B and you'll see that you're there. Now you can perform emotes by holding both bumpers, pushing up, etc. But you can also do this. You can build on a spectator camera in creative and creative mode tools. So we want to put in two more assemblers. So I'm going to put them in using the spectator camera. So there they are. There's your assemblers. All sorted. All nicely placed. See them over here as well. I could put more in if I wanted. But I only want to put two extra ones. What I need now is to come out of spectator camera. Press B. And we're back. So now... What we want to do is we want to set these up in co-op mode. So go to any control panel or even your cargo box, press your inventory button and then get across to production. This is where the magic happens. So you will see that there are various menus. What you want is the drop down menu. So push down on the left stick once press A and you'll open this drop down menu then use the D-pad and choose the lower of the assemblers now I've been building and rebuilding assemblers um, in this so assembler 5 would really be assembler 2 you can name these uh, assembler main, second, third or whatever you want to name them we're picking assembler 1 there as our main assembler. We leave that one alone. We don't change anything on it. But assembler 5, we select it with A. We push across once with the left stick, up with the left stick, down with the left stick, and you can get to production queue. As long as you get to production queue and press A, you will put that assembler into co-op mode. Now, if we go back with the left stick across to our list, back onto assembler 5, press A and then press the D-pad down to the next assembler, rinse and repeat across to production queue, put that in co-op mode. Now all of them are in co-op mode. If you have a basic assembler still, don't break it down, just link your new assemblers in with it and it will act as part. You can put that in co-op mode as well. It's not as efficient as the new assemblers, it can't make as much. And your survival kit, well, we'll leave that, because that's got a very, very basic assembler. I mean, really basic. It can only make the first starting components for you and the ingots. So, once you've done that, confirm that they're all on co-op, except your main assembler. And then you can now put things into production. So let's make... Um, say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10,000 bulletproof glass. Then tap left, tap left again on the left trigger and you will then be able to open up your filters. Now if you click in the right stick once you'll get all of your inventories of anything connected to this grid. Use the D-pad and you can scroll down, you see my assembler look working away and then below it if we go down even further, you will see that Assembler 5 has already done 216 of these, and so is Assembler 4. So they're working together in co-op mode. So now the main Assembler is just finishing off the last few of these bulletproof glass. And that's really it. That's all you need to know. I like to put assemblers in line with my refinery, with the refinery first, so all your ore gets funneled into the assemblers down the line. I also 
you know, you can stand these up if you want. You don't want them to be lying down like that. You can easily do that. And that's it, really. That's spectator cam and co-op mode on assemblers. As always, have fun. Stay safe. Take care. Until the next one. Bye and happy engineering.